What's up everybody? My name is Lehua and welcome to the Superfina channel. I am a Hawaii variety content creator, host of podcasts across worlds, and I stream on twitch.tv slash Lehua Superfina. Today we are reviewing some of Spider So What and if you like anime reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next upload. And if you like to support the channel, we got channel membership and Patreon. Links to those are below. Can we get like a hundred likes for this? That would be awesome. We are reviewing Summer Spiders. So what? Episode 22. The episode that Kumoko will join the Seriella battle. The Seriella army get those experience from defeating humans because she can get a lot of experience from defeating humans, right? Get that experience, apply those points to her evolution, and we were going to see her evolution. No. Nah. No, that didn't happen. No, we didn't see her evolution. No, but we saw a lot of stuff. I'm just saying, like, OMG. So we saw the Demon Lord Ariel. Demon Lord Ariel, she still had body brain in her mind. Body brain was eating away. And it turns out body brain and Demon Lord Ariel are fusing. They're intertwining each other. And what I liked about in this episode is Administrator Gilly, he was explaining it. He's like explaining what was going on. Because we saw Demon Lord Ariel, she was talking like Kumoko, which was kind of weird because she was using some terms that only Kumoko would, like Good Morning Star. I'm like, uh, that's up modern day our world thing like how does demon lord know that and she was saying that she gained stuff after eating mother and ariel couldn't have a mother because she's the origin character right so it's like oh <gasps> body brain body brain is in her and so i'm thinking okay is body brain taking over and Administrator Gilgit is explaining how Ariel's mind is still there, but her soul is fusing with body brain. So it's like, huh, interesting. So Ariel is still conscious, but she is adapting all the characteristics of Kumoko. So in my reaction, I was saying, so that's why Ariel talked like Kumoko when we first saw Ariel. In my reaction, when I first saw Ariel, I, I thought, I totally thought, Ariel was the final form of Kumoko. And the reason for that is because she sounded like Kumoko. Now I know why. It's because body brain fused with her. It's like, oh, okay, things are making sense. This is what I like about Soma Spider So What. It shows you stuff. You know things for a fact. It is what it is, but you don't know how it gets there. And the series, it explains throughout the story, little by little. I mean, come on. It took almost a whole season to explain why Aria spoke the way she did. Why Aria knew about the reincarnations and such. It's because of body brain. So it's like, okay. Things are making sense now. I still have questions that need to be answered though. Besides that, another thing benefiting from body brain fusing with Ariel is that Ariel doesn't want to destroy Kumoko anymore. Because before she wanted to destroy her for being disobedient. But now that they're fusing together, I guess Ariel's understanding where Kumoko's coming from. She's understanding the way Kumoko's thinking, why she acts the way she acts and such. And she doesn't have a desire to destroy her. Now the thing is, Ariel still wants some payback. And they do confront each other. Ariel goes to the Seriella battle and she confronts Kumoko and she is beating her butt, yo. She created this barrier, nullif nullifying magic, teleportation and such. Kumoko has to resort using light magic. And at the end of their fight, Ariel is using abyss magic. Abyss magic will destroy Kumoko's soul, which will permanently destroy Kumoko. 
Okay. Yo, Ariel, I thought you didn't want to kill her off. And the thing is, she can't kill off Kumoko. Kumoko will be in the present time. She will be there 15 years later. We know she will. So it's like, okay, what is the point of you using abyss magic on Kumoko? Because it shows. It shows that Kumoko got hit with it and something disintegrated. And Kumoko had this like resignation. She's like, oh, I'm going to die. But the thing is, we know you survive. It's just, how? 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 <laughs> that is the theme of this series. How are things happening? You show us and you slowly explain. Another thing, from Kumoko's and Ariel's battle, we saw someone. We saw a little person. We saw Chibi Julius. Oh, he was adorable. Like, I'm glad that I saw him, but my heart hurts for him because he's just a child. And I'm so surprised by this. And I'm amazed that this series is being consistent with the story because way, way, way back in Oh So Far episode, they talked about how Julius was a hero and he acted on his hero title when he was young. Bruh, I didn't realize how young. He was just a little kid. When he was confronting Arya and Kumoko, he had his sword out and it was shaking. He was trembling. Oh, poor thing. But the thing was, he didn't get killed off right away because of his skills, his um, special benefit as a hero. So that's why he had like a stun off with Arya and that's why she didn't, that's why Ariel she, Ariel, didn't kill off Julius right away. Oh, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. So, with Julius appearing there, does that mean Kumoko interacted with him for 15 years? From that point on to when Julius died, did they become friends? Did they become frenemies? Like, what kind of relationship did they end up having? Because I feel like Kumoko has a soft spot for kids. And I have an impression that she's the type to easily make friends with kids. <laughs> and the last thing I want to talk about from episode 22 is the present time where they show Hugo, Shun, and everybody else. I was a little disappointed seeing them because... From the past, they did a little cliffhanger of when Kumoko got hit by the abyss magic. Then they jumped to 15 years later with the heroes, the reincarnates. And I'm like, no, but you know what? I kind of was hoping that they were going to show some type of connection from that battle 15 years ago. No, that didn't happen. But they did throw in some information, some uh, what moments. For example, Hugo. When, when the other rare kindness was like, Hey, Hugo, what's up? I'm so-and-so. He goes like, Who are you? What? And everybody was like, kind of weirded out by that because he sounded like he forgot. He forgot who his classmates were, which is weird because he knows Shun, he knows Katya, he knows the teacher, Oka. He knows, he knows the others who he's been interacting at the school. So it's like, okay, something happened to you. I wonder what's happening to you. Like, did getting those skills that he stole from, you know, from greed, from lust, is it warping his mind or is he being brainwashed? But the thing is, when you have like the sins skills, only one person can have it, right? So can he be brainwashed? by someone else is is that possible is that from a different skill or it could be something's going on with him his mind is getting warped maybe his soul is getting warped maybe someone's eating away his mind and that's why he's losing his memory i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments and while that's happening the battle is still going on we still got the old kingdom we still have the elf village we still have the demon army 
all this is still going on. So it's like, okay, where's Ariel? Where's Kumoko? Where's Lady White? Like, where are the others? Where are the other demons and such? Because that's who I want to see. And that's my review of Soma Spider. So what episode 22? What did you think about that episode? You know what I thought about that episode. What did you think about this video? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to talk outside of YouTube, there's a Discord. Discord link is available in the description. I also stream on twitch.tv slash Superfina. People who watch these videos, if you like to stop by the stream, have that one-on-one -on -one conversation, you guys are more than welcome. Outside of YouTube and Twitch, I host podcasts across worlds where you talk about anime, manga, and other things you're interested in. If you like podcasts like that, link to the podcast is in the description. We are available on all platforms. Other than that, my name is Lehua, and this is the Super Fina channel reviewing So Much Fire So What episode 22. Hope you guys like this video, and I will see you on the next one. Laters! Huge thanks to my Patreons and channel members for making this video possible. If you also want to be part of the Superfina party, you can click over here or become a channel member. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I do stream live on Twitch every Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Hope to see you guys there and I will see you on the next video. This bump 